So in this second video, we just installed BlueJ on our computer, and now we're going to write our first Java program. It's a very simple program, just has a single line of output, and uh, you're going to get started by launching BlueJ. You should see this little development environment pop up, and you want to open or create a new project. And it's important to choose a good location. Right now, by default, BlueJ is choosing my home directory. But I would like to create this project in my AP Computer Science folder that I created. And so I'm going to call this project Hello World. And just notice, this is something that you'll become very familiar with. And we use what's called camel case in Java. So uh, there's no spaces in the name of my project. It's just hello world without space and I capitalize the first letter of each word and that's going to be the name of my project and Here it is so this little file here is Just the readme file and it's blank uh, We could put all sorts of information about our project in there, but for now we're just going to create a new class and we're gonna call that class Hello World and click OK. Uh, all Java code is inside of a class. And that's, this is again some language that we'll become more and more familiar with. So now I have this one class sitting right here in my, in my project and I'm gonna double click it and it opens up this text editor and what BlueJ has done is <clears throat> create a whole bunch of, of sort of skeleton code for us. And I would like to get rid of all of that skeleton code. And so now I just have this, really these, these three lines of code. Everything up here is a comment. And uh, the, the compiler doesn't really care about what's in here. We could, we could write whatever we wanted. So maybe uh, we'll put here uh, my first. Java program and you could put your name right here to indicate that this is your work this is my name and uh, version or date is also good to just keep track of when you're doing this work and today is the 12th of August so right now you may not know what to do inside of here so you're just going to copy exactly what I type in this file on your own screen. I'm going to begin. This is the class Hello World, and it is encapsulated within these two curly braces. And inside, I'm going to define one method. And the method declaration looks like that. And again, I'm going to open and close this method with these two curly braces and just I wrote public static void main and then open parentheses string array we say and the string array is named args if you don't understand any of that that's just fine all you got to do is make sure you copy it just exactly as it is written right here on the video inside we're going to just do one thing system dot out dot print line And we're going to, hello world. This is a classic first program that we write in any new programming language just to demonstrate that we've properly set up our development environment. So, and just notice a couple things. The words hello world are in double quotes. And I ended this statement with a semicolon, which we will end all of our statements in Java with a semicolon. Uh, so that's it. That is our first Java program. So I'm going to just slide this over and go back to this project page. And I'm going to compile the project. And notice when I compile it, the little hash marks that were on my, uh, my class are now gone. And now if I do a two-finger click or a right click and pull up this context menu, I can choose to run my main method that I just wrote, and that's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm going to leave this empty and just hit OK. And up this window, this terminal pops, and it just says, hello world. That's all we told our program to do. Very simple. So I could go back in here, and I could edit this uh, program to maybe print something else in addition to hello world. I love, oops, I love programming. Close the quotes and the parentheses. So I've just added another line and you can imagine what this program will do without actually running it. But take a look, BlueJay added those hash marks again to indicate that our class, we've edited it. And if we wanna run the new program with its updates that we just added, we need to compile it. And then again, pull up the context menu and you can run that main method. And if I go back to the output this is the output from my original running of the program and now the output contains two lines of code so that's a really quick introduction on your very first writing your very first java program